Hi, this is Miss Clemmy, and welcome to the first of several podcasts on skills, literacy, literacy skills specifically, we'll be working on throughout the course of the year. This first skill is on previewing and predicting, and this is especially critical since we have a brand new textbook, and it's actually um, organized in a little bit different fashion. However, to see that textbook, what you're going to have to do is log into this website that you see here. And I emailed that link out to you under Anatomy eText. So go ahead and open that link. And then we created an account already. So simply sign in. And then it'll look a little bit different than my view right here that you see. However, um, what you want to find on there is a button that says Launch eText. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It takes a little bit here. Screen's a little big, so I'm going to actually decrease it in size. Um, and this is the e-text. And what we want to do is go to page six. And the initial assignment we're going to be working on is previewing and predicting for section 1.2. You can see in green here and 1.3. Now I personally like to have the, the two screen, two page uh, view here. Let me switch my browser. All right, I think we're about ready. Zoom in. Okay, so this is the first page that we'll be previewing and predicting. But let me switch over to the document you'll be completing throughout this. And I shared it with you on Google, simply called Previewing and Predicting. And so what you're going to do in this text is, one, survey the text. Look it over. Are there helpful things to guide your reading, like bolded words, pictures, sections, summaries, anything like that? Um, the second thing you're going to do is look at any of the titles or subtitles. Can you make a prediction on that? But the most important part is that we're going to study the actual pictures. And um, there's a lot of them in here because it is called visual anatomy and physiology. But the ultimate goal for this particular skill is to figure out what is the purpose of this section or of the sections that you are assigned to preview and predict. So let's go very back to the very first one, serving the text. And so what we're going to do is simply go back to the e-text and take a look at the sections. Um, section 1.2, and I'm going to actually switch over to my marker. Um, here we go. Uh, section 1.2, right off the bat, you can see there's a lot of bolded words here, and there's here, and there's, there, there's a lot of them. So clearly that's going to be something that we're going to jot down in the previewing and the predicting. Um, you can see there's different headers in little red boxes. They're numbered. And we, in fact, have a series of questions at the end to check for our understanding. Uh, if we go to section 1.3, labeled up here, you can see that that format continues and carries on throughout um, the book. So simply that's, for our first step, that's surveying the text. And that's about it. And you can jot down your own um, observations here. The next thing we want to do is scan the titles and subtitles to make a prediction. So let's go back to section 1.2. We have the title. Anatomy is the study of form. Physiology is the study of function. Now there aren't really any subtitles here, so we're going to go on. And now they say form and function are interrelated. So if we go back to the preview and predicting, um, what we have to do now is make a prediction about the text topic. And you want to consider all three of those headings that I read aloud. What is this text going to be about? Back to my e-text, and back to section 1.2, the third thing, and probably the most important thing are in this course are the visuals. So now we have to look at each of these visuals. And if you notice, each of these red boxes actually is like a caption for its own visual. You can see them all along here. They always have, go with a visual. But I'm going to look at the first visual and show you how I would look at these and analyze these. So I'd look at the first one and say, well, this is a picture of a heart or a model of a heart. And all these different parts are labeled. 
And, and I can see this model with my, my naked eye. I don't need any special microscope. However, they zoomed in on a portion and blew it up, and they labeled even more parts. So here, they're essentially taking something that we're familiar with, the, the heart, and they're just identifying lots and lots and lots of parts of that heart, both on the scale that we can see and on a microscopic scale. So what you'll need to do in the previewing and predicting is look at all those visual aids and, and gleam what information you learned. And I think the rule of thumb here, because there's so many visuals, just do a sentence for each section. So you'll have two sentences under that third step. And the fourth step is what is the overall purpose the author is trying to uh, provide you with in sections 1.2 and 1.3. So that's a look at uh, our e-text and how you would preview and predict for a science textbook. I hope you found that helpful and best of luck.